Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be learning how to fix blurry images on Shopify. Now sometimes when you upload images for your products on Shopify, you may notice that either the image is too big and it may not fit the dimensions of Shopify. This should not worry you because there's a way you can fix such images from Shopify. So assuming you have your Shopify account, you will just log in into your Shopify account and then to just show you an instance, I'm now logged into my Shopify account. I'll come to products and I'll be adding a new product. So I'll add a product here at the top. So I'll click on add product. Then I'll put the product title here. Let me call it Weaver Nest. And then I will upload the media here, add files. I'll click on add files and I'll go to my desktop. And then I'll add the image of this yellow river bird. So that is our image already added. But now if I go back to my image, although the image is very crispy here, if now I come back to my image and show you the details about the image I uploaded, I'll go to my desktop. And then this is the image we uploaded. Let me show you the properties of that image. So you notice our image is 3.2 MBs. That is why you notice the image is very clear and you notice here the image is already 3.2 MBs. This image is too big because now when people come to my site, this image will not be able to load so fast because it's already too big. You can now imagine if now I was to upload maybe 10 images of my river nest here, that will be almost 30 MBs because one image is already 3 MBs plus. So now, I need to get a smaller image that is less than 1 MB. And actually the recommended size is anything below 200 KBs. Uploading 10 such files on my Shopify, then it means that my clients may not be able to view these images fast because the images will load slowly. So that's what we want to fix now because if I upload a smaller image, it means that the image might be blurry but then there's a solution to that. So you simply come to apps here, on the bottom left corner, you click on apps, and then at the top here, you look for crash pics. It brings you to this site, where you notice we have the crash, speed and image optimizer, and uh, we have the crash, speed and image optimizer here, and you can use that to reduce the size of your images. If not, I click on the second one here, and come down here, you notice speed up your shop and boost image SEO with the crash picks image optimizer and image renaming. This helps, you notice here, crash picks helps to reduce the size of your photos or the file size of your store's images and speeds up your store loading time. Because basically smaller images mean that they also load faster. So you can use this to reduce the size of your images without losing the pixelation. You notice if you use some other softwares, you might lose the pixelation. It only makes your image smaller and of course reduces the pixelation. And so the image becomes blurry. So you'll click on add up here and then it will bring you to this site and then you'll click on install app. And now you notice here it has three steps. We have the balanced which is significant reduction in size with minimal sacrifice to image quality. And this is the most popular. Then we have the moderate reduction size with zero loss to image quality. So in this one, you don't lose the image quality and the images will appear 100% the same as the original, but the size will be small. And then we have the custom where you manually set compression levels. So you can use any of this. So I'll select the first one, the balanced, and then you click on next step plan. Then which plan is right for me? You can choose this plan that is good for you. And this one for the micro goes for 4.49. The pro goes for 9.9 .9, and the advanced goes for 19.9. .9. And you can also look for the plan that is recommended for you there with the sizes that you can do per month. But we still have other options that are free to use, which do not charge you anything. So I'll click back and go back to my Shopify. So the first option you can use 
is called using the tiny png i'll be leaving the link to that in the description of this video that is tinypng.com and uh, once you get here this is where you upload your images so now i want to use tiny png to reduce an image that i would want to use on my shopify account so let me use a different image let me go to my desktop and i'll use this image here named software i'll click on it and uh, see the size under properties the image is 2.03 mbs so i'll click on ok so i'll drag this 2.0 mb on tiny png i'll drop it there and it's now compressing and remember this feature does not lose the quality of your image so it's now compressing this image called software.jpg which is 2.1 mbs and uh, it is now finished you now notice we have 4.43 kbs all the way from 2.1 mbs which is basically a reduction by 79 percent of the size of my image so i'll download all it can be downloaded as a zip then i can get my image there but you notice already our image will be 4.43 kbs and it will still be a very clear image so that is one way to reduce the size of the images that i want to use on my shopify store but if i have so many images to reduce the size i simply come to bulk resize and i'll be leaving the link in the description of this video and here i can drop images here so this one i also do the same i'll go back to my desktop choose the same image of 2.03 mbs come to my bulk resize photos.com and i drop the image there so here you notice i can control the image quality and i can also change a few things about my image so in terms of the percentage here the file size if i click on the file size you notice that the images will be resized to 97.7 kbs all the way from 2 mbs then i can look at the image dimensions and then i can look at the width i can adjust the width if i want to and the height so you notice with this one i am also able to get bulk images reduced to a very small size you can now imagine from 2.0 mbs to just 97 kbs or even less so then i'll click on start so that my image will be converted and you notice now our image is there so if i click on save then i come to my downloads here to just see the image size here is my image let me look at the size properties you see now my image here is 85 here it's 85 kbs only from a whole 2 kb if now i open the image so that you can see the quality you notice the image is still of very good quality i can still see whatever is needed for my shopify images so that is simply how you fix blurry images on uh, shopify i hope this has been helpful kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel